So what we'll need for the first DIY is an empty wine glass, a loofah, some bath salts, a razor, and some starburst. We'll start by taking our wine glass and filling it about a third to a half of the way full with the bath salts. Just wanna make sure that your loofah fits and then you can put as much bath salts depending on how big your loofah is. Once you have the bath salts in the glass, you can go ahead and put your razor in and then just bury it underneath the salt and push the salt around and kind of flatten out the top to prepare it for the loofah. And once you have your salts all beautiful in the glass, we'll go ahead and push the loofah down in there. And this is gonna give the illusion that there's like whipped cream on the top. And you can go ahead and top it off with a starburst or a fake cherry. Whatever you have really that matches your bath salts I think would be super cute. I love the way this DIY turned out. I thought it was absolutely adorable. It's also a perfect last minute gift. So we're going to start off this DIY with half a cup of cornstarch and put that into a mixing bowl and then add a fourth a cup of citric acid and mix that in as well and then you want to grab another fourth cup of baking soda and last for the dry ingredients we're going to take a fourth a cup of Epsom salts. Once we have all the ingredients together, we can go ahead and mix it up. And you wanna make sure that you get fine grain Epsom salts. For this particular bath bomb, I used some more coarse Epsom salts and it didn't come out as well as other bath bombs that I have done. Now we can go ahead and add a tablespoon of coconut oil and you wanna make sure that the coconut oil is melted and that all your ingredients are warm. The baking soda I had I kept in the fridge so it was a little cool so it made the coconut oil a little bit crummy and I just tried to work with the mixture that I had here. Last but not least, we're going to take a tablespoon of brewed tea and put that into the mixture. And then I'm also taking a separate dry tea bag and cutting that open and placing the tea in with the mixture, stirring that all together. And then once that's complete, you can go ahead and put them in the bath bomb molds. You can spray it with a little bit of water or witch hazel if it's not packing together. And then like I said, just place that into the mold. So after I put them in the mold, I did pop them into the freezer since I had the issue with the coconut oil and they turned out pretty well since the coconut oil hardened a little bit. It actually turned out great still. They smell fantastic and I'm really excited to use them. So we'll start off this DIY by adding a half a cup of coconut oil to a bowl and you want to make sure that the coconut oil is firm and then add a fourth of cup of sugar. Once that's in the bowl, we'll add five drops of lemon essential oil or you can use any of your favorite essential oils and then we're going to go ahead and mix that together. We're going to mix that until it forms a paste-like consistency and once we finish mixing it, we're going to go ahead and add another fourth cup of sugar and we're just going to fold that into the scrub and you can continue adding more sugar to get it to a fluffy consistency if you blended it a little too much or if you just want the scrub to be a little bit thicker, you can go by your preference. And again, I'm just folding in the sugar here and fold in as much sugar as you would like. And then that's it. This is a great scrub and it's super simple. I hope you guys enjoyed these DIYs. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave so that you don't miss out on upcoming videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!